Okay, previously I've been really talking about talking a lot about torsion, the free net frame, the unit binomial vector, and let's just put all those examples, all, all those concepts, principles into a practical example on what I would on the shape that I personally quite like to see, which is called the cyclical. Is it the slight yes circular, sorry. Okay. So there's a lot of concepts and principles that I've been talking about torsion, the unit binomial vector, as well as the free net frame. So let's just use all those principles and apply them to an example where we will show each of the quantities explicitly. Okay, on the shape that some people really like, which is called the circular helix. Okay, there's a lot of helixes, but circular helix is one of them. Okay, the circular helix is defined by the Par, 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 parameters okay if I'm not wrong it's a equals to it's x sorry x equals to a times cos t y equals to a times sine t and z is equals to b t okay uh, parametrically in terms of parameter t okay then we have also shown to you or it's a good revision that the unit binomial unit normal and unit tangent most of the time or is more convenient that we use that when we start the start calculating from the position vector if it is if it is written in terms of the arc length s okay i mean in one of my videos the one that I personally like i've also shown you you can go the other way you can find the acceleration use pythagoras theorem to really find the unit tangent the unit normal okay but in principle or loosely speaking it's normally easier to apply the, the vectors b, n, and t if we start off with the position vector the term in, written in terms of the arc length. Now this is a problem because it's written in terms of t, but it doesn't matter because you know how to connect the two of them, okay, which is s integrate okay, from z0 to t of the position vector, okay, let's just say um, zeta, you do first derivative of the position vector, take the magnitude and integrate it like this, so, I mean so and so. Okay, but I'm not I'm gonna not gonna do that for the camera, so I'm gonna immediately write down the position vector, which is let's just call it as R S or let's just make it F, okay? So that the, the derivatives is, is more convenient. Okay. I believe oh uh, let me just check again. Okay, it's minus sorry, it's A cos cos C S C S I not to be confused with, with, the, with the show. Okay, then it's A sine CSJ. CSJ followed by BCT. Okay, plus BCT. Okay, let me just check again. Okay, sorry, BCS. Okay, K. Okay, where C is equals to 1 over square roots of a squared plus b squared okay c is just a constant okay that depends on the a and b that we started out with okay and the arc length in this case is s s s so now we know that the when we differentiate this we get the unit tangent vector i hope that is clear okay i, I repeat again if the position vector is written in terms of the arc length s the first derivative would immediately give us the unit tangent vector, unit length. I've shown, you, shown it to you already. Okay, so now our objective is to find kappa and is to find the torsion, okay? That is our objectives and later find the vectors that correspond to the free net frame. Okay, since we've got the position vector written in terms of S, okay, we can immediately straight away do the differentiation, okay? So, unit tangent vector, okay, is equals to the first derivative of this. Am I, am I not wrong or am I not correct? Okay, because it's already written in S. And I already got it calculated for you. It's A C psi C S I again, okay, plus A C cos. I could really do the, the, dif the differentiating, but I don't want to waste your time. Okay, B C K. Okay, so this is what we have over here. So now, first things first, let's find kappa, curvature. What is kappa? Kappa is the magnitude of the first derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to S, okay? So it's the magnitude, okay? Oh, you know what, why don't I, I just write the, the answer right away. Okay, so kappa is equals to A over A squared plus B squared. 
Okay, so there we go. Now we got kappa over here. Okay, so now the next thing we want to find would be the torsion. Okay. And in order to find the torsion, remember what's the formula that we use? We use the first derivative of the binomial vector is equals to minus torsion, the unit normal vector. The unit binomial vector is equals to minus torsion, the, the unit normal vector. So, for us to find torsion, we just simply need this one over here and this one over here. Okay. From kappa, or from kappa and from this one, it's quite easy to find the unit normal vector. Okay, remember the definition again. It will be 1 over kappa times the first derivative of the unit tangent vector, okay? First derivative, which again I will just calculate as minus cos Cs i plus, I'm sorry, minus sine, minus sine Cs. Okay, seems, looks like this is the one that I'm referring to a lot, okay, because I, like I said, I don't want to waste your time watching me di differentiate trigonometry functions, okay? Now, the next part, which maybe I want to show, is finding the binomial vector. Okay, like I said again, we know that from the free net frame, the binomial vector is equal to the unit tangent vector crossed with the normal vector. Okay, bear in mind that this direction or this order needs to be maintained because of the right hand basis. Okay, so then after that, we need to differentiate it. So we got the unit tangent vector over here, and then we got the normal vector over here. Okay, now for Consistency of as a reminder, maybe I will just do this one or I will just write this out. Okay, so the un unit binomial. Okay, how there's a lot of ways you can do it. This is one of them. You write i j k over here like this. Okay, then you know that is this cross with the unit normal vector. So the first row or the second row, I'm going to write the the components for t, the unit tangent vector. Okay, minus a c sine c s. Okay. AC cos CS and then this is BC. The, the third row, I'm going to write the, the co components for the unit normal vector, which in this case is minus cos CS and minus sine CS. Okay, so how and zero of course here, zero K component. So how does this work? This works is that now if I want the I component of the unit binomial vector, I will just cover this one and I will, it will be this times with this okay sorry yes correct this times with this minus this times with this okay which we should all know we get a positive bc sine cs and put an i over there for the i component let me just have a quick check correct the second now if i want the j component what i do is i cover this however for the j component which is the center component instead of going this times this multiply instead of going this way first we need to do the opposite direction, okay? Now, this is maybe one of the first videos where I'm showing you how to cross two vectors together. So, it's really good that if you maybe pay attention. I want the J component, so I will cover these two vectors over here. However, I need to multiply from going up first in this direction first, okay? So, what does that mean? This means that I take minus cos Cs, multiply with BC, and then I will times, okay, sorry, and then I'll subtract this multiply by this, okay? I'll say again, for the I, comp I component is this vector times with this vector minus this vector times with this vector. For the J component, it is this vector times with this vector minus this vector times with this vector over here, okay? Which we should get, or we will get, minus BC cos CS J, okay? Now for the third vector, the, you just cover the third vector because you want the third vector, you cover the third vector but the sequence is the same as the first vector and that is, you would multiply these two first so you multiply these two and then you minus the, the product of these two Okay, so it's this followed by this first vector is this followed by this third vector is the same, this, for, this followed by this the second vector is the opposite, this followed by this Okay multiply the respective components and then you subtract them, okay? So after that, we should get um, ACK plus ACK. Running off ink here, so I better finish the example quick, but why don't I just change a pen? Okay. okay, so there we go, the unit binomial vector, okay? But bear in mind that torsion is what we want to have, so we need to differentiate this with respect to S1s, okay?